नमस्कार हम डॉक्टर रमिया ही डॉक्टर प्रवीण जेकब चीफ कंसल्टेंट निसर्गा मणिसर से चीफ साइंटिफिक एडवाइजर आर्ट मंथन वेलनेस सेंटर अर्जेंट प्रोफेसर एट के एस हेड मेडिकल एकेडमी एंड आल्सो ही इज द सीईओ ऑफ अल्फा नेशनल्स न्यूट्रिसिटिकल्स सर वी वांटली वेलकम यू टुडे वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस अबाउट गैस्ट्राइटिस व्हिच इज द मेन प्रॉब्लम इन आवर पॉपुलेशन गैस्ट्राइटिस इज नथिंग बट द इन्फ्लेमेशन ऑफ स्टमक लाइनिंग about 50 to 70% world population are diagnosed with gastritis as we all know all these commercials out of 10 five commercials will be about gastritis problem and here is our doctor to discuss about gastritis and its real cause and its remedies so we would like to know what are the main causes for gastritis general public to educated classes have a notion that gastritis and acidity mediated by excess ex- mediated by excess consumption of spicy food okay. sour food or fried foods but contradictory a discovery in 2000 proved the opposite okay the study found that no longer acidity is contributed from spicy spicy fried foods or foods. fried foods rather it's mediated by a tiny bug called as h pylori helicobacter pylori for this discovery nobel prize has been awarded to the scientist okay ever since the treatment protocol to handle the acidity has been dramatically changed, changed. Okay. so today the most of the treatment protocols are targeting this bacteria rather, rather than targeting hyper Acidity. acidity okay very strong message to all of you by eradicating this bacteria uh-huh. one can get to the acidity, acidity and gastritis. gastritis this is a very interesting information about gastritis so far we have thought it is mainly due to our bad eating habits which is aggravating the symptoms of gastritis but no it is the helicobacter pylori affecting the gastritis and it is the main causative agent doctor we would like to know more about this helicobacter pylori let's look on a research a research on journal of gastroenterology which suggests that role of helicobacter pylori in the development of gastritis peptic ulcer okay study suggests that h pylori bacteria is the underlying cause of उटरी but we developed a protocol no longer i treat my migraine patient on head okay. i treat their stomach i reduce the inflammation of their stomach at 100 percentage recovery from migraine this tormenting ailment migraine okay so That's the really root cause of the stomach cancer migraine hyperacidity gastritis in the ejection and girl it could be a tiny bug a notorious bug called as H pylori bacteria helicobacter pylori this is such an interesting one this h pylori has been affecting us from the head till the toe it seems so doctor what is the best way to treat this h pylori uh, which is the root cause of gastritis yeah so i have a golden combination to eradicate this notorious bacteria the currently the, the conventional therapy the modern therapy is called as triple therapy to eradicate this bacteria the triple therapy consists of two types of antibiotics and one and the other in a single pill okay. the success rate is gradually decreasing for instance about 15 years ago the success rate of triple therapy was close to 95% okay. today it came down less than 50 percentage because of antibiotic resistance developed by h pylori bacteria okay. hence the where this looking to alternative therapies okay and i am propagating a triple therapy a natural triple therapy which has got 
three powerful component the first is a good diet okay. a good diet second component something called as probiotics okay probiotics probiotics are healthy strains of bacteria has the potential to counter the bad, bad bacteria yes. like for example the buttermilk the mosur yogurt which all are probiotic natural probiotics so the first component of natural triple therapy diet second probiotic, probiotic. third one is four type of natural herbs found in indian subcontinent so friends Helicobacter pylori, which is the root cause of gastritis, has become very much tolerant to the conventional method of treatment and the success rate is slowly declining. Dr. Praveen Jacob has imparted a new formula of triple therapy. He has set a very good diet, probiotics and four important Indian herbs. Sir, we would like to know what are those important Indian herbs? Yeah, the best one is Lycoris. Okay. Jashti Madhu is called as Jashti Madhu or Adi Madhura, Adi Madhura, Ereti Madhura in their Malayalam language, Jashti Madhu, Lycro, Lyco Rice. Okay. The best natural remedy in the planet is Lyco Rice. Okay. Because H. pylori produced a type of protein called as ureus. Okay. And this ureus is invariable requirement to, to enter to stomach. Without ureus, the H. pylori cannot enter into stomach lining. Okay. Yeah, this yes, lyco rice has the potential and powerful ability to neutralize the ureus. Ureus enzyme. So okay. it targets ureus enzymes. So reducing significantly, it can reduce the vigorousity of H. pylori bacteria. So 25 gram of lyco rice powder, going with the formant remnant of two cup of water. And reduce to one cup and consume twice daily. Okay. The best best remedy to the best, best remedy to eradicate gastritis. H. pylori bacteria and therefore gastritis. Controlling gastritis. So just 25 grams of adimadra or liquor rice in two cup of water, which is reduced to one cup of water, and drinking it morning and evening can definitely counteract. H. pylori. So, what is the second herb we would like to know? The second is Nigella sativa. Nothing but black cumin. Black cumin. The capuchina. The black cumin. Amazing. Amazing to control H. pylori bacteria. Numerous study has been published across the world on the healing property of black cumin. The black cumin to counter the growth of H. pylori bacteria. Okay. Two teaspoon of Black cumin powder, grounded black cumin with two teaspoon of honey, morning and evening. The best, best, best remedy to control H. pylori bacteria. Okay, that's really very nice and very easy method to follow, right? Black cumin, just two teaspoon of black cumin powder in one teaspoon of honey, consumed with morning and evening will give a tremendous result. So, what is the third miraculous herb? Ginger tea. Okay. It's Very common. Yeah, one. A, a short technique. Okay. Ginger tea. The grandma's decaution. Scientists have isolated numerous molecules from ginger. Ginger oil. Okay. Yakuchin oil. Okay. The name goes like this, you know. So, all these compounds from the ginger has got the capability to lower can reduce the toxicity of H. pylori infection, ginger tea. Like all you have to do is very simple. One cup of water, crush a small piece of ginger, boil, add a teaspoon of honey and enjoy it. Ginger tea, as far as everybody knows, it's a very common beverage in our Indian home. Let's follow it to contract gastritis. So, we are eagerly waiting for the last but the miraculous herb to counteract gastritis. What's that? Yeah. Chemistimus indicus. Okay. Nannari. Okay. That is also a little commonly available. Yeah. Herb. Nannari is a very good remedy. The Nannari precaution has been used in Kerala for a very long time. In most of the households, we had the beverage Nannari decaution. Okay. Which can, one can replace the normal water 
by Nandari to Kosh. Okay. So all you have to do is a fist of Nandari, boil in liter of water, consume same water from morning to evening. Okay. It can reduce the stomach inflammation by countering numerous type of cytokines, something called as inflammatory yes. mediators produced by stomach mucus membrane. Okay. Doctor has given the easiest way to follow in your home to counteract this gastritis problem. Just have the Nanari water as your daily consumption, replacing the normal drinking water which you have dumped in your flask. Take a fist of Nanari root, boil in one liter of water, fill it in your flask and drink it from morning till evening. Have ginger tea as your evening beverage. Have black cumin with honey morning and evening. And also don't forget licorice, commonly called Adimadra, as your morning and evening drink. Doctor, so what's your final message for elevating the gastritis problem? Yeah, natural triple therapy, okay. a diet, a good diet, definitely the most important component, followed by natural probiotics. Okay. Uh, yogurt. Okay. Butter milk, ganji. fermented ganji, which all are natural probiotic, and the third component consists of four types of natural herbs found in Indian subcontinent. Number one, lyco rice, jasti madhu, adi madura. Number two, black cumin. cumin. Number three, ginger tea. Number four, nanari precaution, hibiscus indicus. So this triple triple therapy can save life of millions by eradicating by eradicating this notorious plaques from our stomach. That's really amazing. Simple and easiest remedy from our dearest doctor Praveen Jacob. Following a very good diet, having probiotics and four important herbs, Indian herbs, which are easily available in the market. Friends, please do follow this to counteract the gastritis problem which is developing as the major concern for many people. Thank you doctor for spending your valuable time. See you in the next very interesting episode. Thank you.